episode of Muscle Meals with Steve. Today we're going to make goat cheese polenta to make as a side dish. I happen to be serving it this evening with the pork tenderloin <coughs> cutlets that's in another video, so you might want to watch it. Anyway, let's get started. We're, I've melted a tablespoon of butter in my saucepan. I'm going to add a half a cup of finely chopped onions. saute these until they become golden brown, which should take anywhere from five to ten minutes, somewhere in there. So I'll get working on that and be back in a few minutes. Okay, we've been sauteing the onions. I'm not sure if you can see, but they are turning a light brown. And we're going to add a teaspoon of finely chopped garlic. And we're just going to let that get fragrant and then take it off the stove. And we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now we've added the garlic. We cooked it for about a minute. Now we're going to add our coarse, I'm using coarse cornmeal. You can use fine cornmeal. And we're going to add two cups of chicken stock. Stir this all up. We're going to lower the heat to a medium low. And I'm going to use a wooden spoon the entire time and we're going to stir this until it gets thicker. It's going to take about 10 minutes. You don't have to continuously stir it, but you need to stir it so that that way the uh, cornmeal doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So that'll take me about 10 minutes. I'll work on this for you and then we'll come back. Okay, so this has been cooking about 10, about 7 minutes. We'll cook it for about 10. You can see that it's much thicker. I added, if it gets a little too thick, you can add a little bit more of the chicken broth just to thin it out a little. should have about a mashed potato consistency. While the corn mixture cooks, I've added some, a cup of frozen corn, which has been defrosted, and two whole eggs. until it becomes like a puree you'll stir it and uh, we'll add that into the corn with some buttermilk in one second okay so the polenta is cooked it's thick like a mashed potato consistency and we're going to add one cup of buttermilk I use a light buttermilk which is 1.5 percent fat and we're going to stir that And then to this, we're going to add our corn mixture right under the food processor. Make sure we get every drop out of there. Okay, now this is looking great. You know what, I'm going to pause the video and show you what this looks like. And there you have it. You can see how creamy and how much more we have after we added the corn and the buttermilk. And now we're going to add a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese and four to five ounces of goat cheese. And then we'll add some salt and pepper to taste. Okay, we're going to add our freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Looks terrific, smells terrific. A couple more crumbs, and then I'm going to add four to five ounces of goat cheese. You can actually use any cheese you like, like brie or blue cheese, but I like it with goat cheese. That's the recipe that I learned. So we've got that mixed in there, and that's going to melt and make it really creamy. And then when I come back, we'll add three goat cheeses melted. We're going to add salt and pepper to taste. This should just 
going to have to taste and decide how much you want to put. I'm going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon. Same with black pepper, it's to taste, so if you want more, feel free to put more. And then, we're just going to put a dash of nutmeg. I would say less than an eighth, about half of an eighth, so maybe a sixteenth. And that's in. Just a dash, really. And that'll give it a nice smoky flavor. And your polenta is ready. Enjoy. Thanks again for watching another episode of Muscle Will Meals with Steve. I hope you enjoyed the cornmeal polenta. Makes a great side dish. And uh, keep watching. I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great night and enjoy your dinner. As always, good health through good cooking and good eating.